What was it like? Your dad wins the 1982 Masters. What was it like growing up the son of a Masters champion? You know, I I was two years old when he won, yeah. so I, I don't have any memories of that. I've seen pictures, pretty cool, like riding on his shoulders up somewhere somewhere on the grounds. I couldn't tell you where, but um, you know, I, I one of, one of my greatest ongoing memories when I was a kid was going back there every single year when I was you know seven, eight, nine, ten, on to probably till high school. I went every single year to Augusta. That's incredible. And yeah. it, I I don't know if it happened to be like during our spring break or whatever in grade school or i just said you know what i'm i'm going to Augusta with my dad i don't care so <laughs> screw school let's mm -hmm. go and my dad played along with that and it was it was sweet like i mean I, I, it was the one place that i made sure i was going to be at every single year like like except from a really really young age um the place is beyond words and you, you've been there it's, it's actually i have it kevin cool. I, I, you to do your golf history. In, you've been there a little better nope never stepped foot on the not grounds not once nope oh i've been well, there kevin i know you there. have of course Paid he's my way moved in. his way yeah. in there yeah so yeah. it's it, it, it's fantastic you know that's like my old man win, winning there that was the one for me as a kid bonus was just the availability to go there frequently like every single year when i was when i was a little kid it was awesome at what age did you first get to play I didn't play there until I was in college. Um, he took me there a random day in like January uh, over winter break. And it was like probably in the 40s and rainy and just the shittiest day you can imagine. Yeah. And, and we went out. I, I think he was not too happy with me because I was just I couldn't get enough of it. We played we played 18, went in, got lunch, went to the par three, played the par three, went back, played the back nine. My dad's probably thinking like, "Why the fuck did I bring you here? <laughs> you know? This is ridiculous." But I, I, I wanted to go and go and go and go and go and go. It was dark, so it was just like, "All right, we're we're done." But it was it was an incredible experience. I mean, how could you not? I mean, I think if I if someone ever takes me now that my dream of playing in the Masters is obviously gone, if someone ever takes me, I want to spend all day there. Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see if they actually let me in the gate since I turned down their invite. <laughs> Sorry about it. I got to tighten up a little bit, but I'm gonna handle that mid am at some point, and you're gonna be there. Par three guy. Caddy for Ooh, caddy. Yes, nice. one hundred percent. Lighten the load for you. How old were you when you realized how special like that was? I mean, you're seven years old. You probably don't really realize the you know the significance of the Masters, but uh, I don't. I don't know the answer to that. To be honest with you, it was it was something. I was certainly lucky enough to where it was it was an annual thing, and I looked forward to it from the day that we left to fly back to San Diego when I was a little kid. I couldn't wait till the next year to go back there. You know, it was a uh, it was just a cool trip. He had all of his. Buddies went back. We rented a house. All stayed there, you know. And I just kind of roamed free, like I was a little golf nerd when I was a kid. I couldn't get enough of going out and watching my dad play, watching other people play, and just kind of roaming around. Like, and it was a different, different time then. They didn't, they didn't really give a shit. My, my dad's like, "Yep, yeah, we'll pick you up at five o'clock, regardless of when he played." Like, he, he, play, he played, he played, at, he played at eight thirty. I'd go watch him, and then I just wander around and watch all these other guys. So it was just let loose inside the gates of Augusta as a little kid, and, and with a player family badge thing just going and wherever the hell he wanted to it was pretty That's awesome it was did pretty you, cool did you know from a really young age like professional golf is what you wanted to do yeah I, very very lucky in that regard because i don't know what the hell else i would do and it was <laughs> not many do literally like from probably when i was like five years old if you asked me what i was gonna do i was like oh, i'm gonna play pro golf yeah. and looking back now after playing for a while and realizing how hard it is like i it's amazing that set that as a goal and somehow just ended up there yeah. and, and was able to to get out and play for a while because it's n now that i'm on the back nine it's it's a lot it's a lot harder than it's i ever thought it was gonna be nine. we're we're done we're i've been in the clubhouse yeah. for yeah. forever dude. yeah rain delay 